Hey friends, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Sometimes you want to print out non-English text like the one on the screen or maybe some other languages like Chinese, Arabic, Hebrew, etc. So how do we do that in C, C++? And for that, we need to jump to our favorite tool, Visual Studio. All right, so here I am in Visual Studio 2017. Let's create a new project, click on File, New Project, and make sure you have Visual C++ selected. Let's create a console application. This is going to be a C++ console application. I'm going to call this one Unicode Example. Let's click OK to create our project. All right, so Visual Studio has created for me a C++ application, a console application. Typically, what we do is we say printf, for example, on the screen, some English text, hello from C, C++. Now let's say we want to print out some of the non-English characters. The first thing we do is we launch this utility called charmap. So type charmap, launch it. Now we have it launched. You can pick your font here. In my case, the console applications usually use the consolas font, this one here. So this makes it easy for me to show you the example. If you scroll down to the very bottom of this font, you can see here characters that are non-English. Unicode characters. For example, let's say we want to print out the smiley face. It's Unicode 2638. If we want to print out any Unicode character, we can do the following with hexadecimal or backslash X, FB, just to give you demonstrate some characters here. Make sure you have the X in there. So A, B, C, E, etc. Typically, people will try this out first. They will think that they can embed Unicode characters in here. So to compile and run Control F5 on the keyboard. So as you can see on my screen, I am printing out successfully some non-English characters, but these are still ASCII character set. What happens now if we try to print out the smiley face? As you can see here, it's 2638. So that means if I go back to my code, if I remove all of this and just say hexadecimal 263A, that's the smiley face. And let's go back again. Then next to it, there's a black smiley face. This one is 263B. That's the next character. Let's try to show both faces 263B. All right, now let's compile. Control Shift B on the keyboard to compile. You will notice that I'm getting some errors here. It says that the value 9786 is too big for character, and the value 9787 is too big for character. And the reason is that this is actually a 16-bit value. It's more than the limit of the ASCII set. So that's why it's warning us. It's not going to be actually able to print this on the screen. So how do we solve this? There's actually a Unicode version of the printf. It's called wprintf. And the wprintf actually takes in a wchar, which is a Unicode character. In order to make this string Unicode, you simply say capital L here, indicating to the compiler that this is a Unicode string. Read this as a Unicode string. Now, this will take care of the compilation error. However, let's see what happens on the output. Control Shift B to make sure we compile fine. All right, now we compile fine. Let's run this. Control F5. Okay, as you can see, nothing is showing on my screen. Something is not right. Let's try to embed some text before. Let's say text backslash N, new line character space. Run this as well. All right, so something is happening. After the test, there's nothing showing here on my screen. Something is not right. Now, we see a problem here. How do we solve this problem? In order to successfully print out Unicode characters on the screen, we need somehow to tell the console application, the console window, to be in the Unicode mode. By default, it's not in the Unicode mode. In order to make the output window handle Unicode string, we will need to use a function called set mode as shown here on msdn this function will help us show unicode strings on the screen this function set mode is used as shown in this example from msdn to set the standard output to be unicode by using this flag underscore o underscore u16 unicode 16 text in order to use this function and this constant we need to include two header files, the file control for set mode and the IO for the constant or the other way around. I think the file control for the constant and the IO for the set mode. The other thing I want to mention is that once you set this mode, you need to understand that you can only use 
the Unicode version of printf. If you try to use the non-Unicode version, you will run into issues. If you use a debug build, it will give you an assertion at runtime saying that you can't use the printf in this mode. You have to use the wprintf or any version that's white character or Unicode of the function. All right, jumping back to the Visual Studio. All right, so now, as I said, we need to say underscore set mode on the file number standard output to be underscore OU16 text. To successfully compile this, we need to have two include files here. Control .h. See, F control .h actually defines this constant. IO is for the set mode functions. This should remove the squiggly from the set mode function. Once I save it, remove the typo. There's no underscore here. Now it should be just fine. Okay, cool. So to compile, Control Shift B. Now we're compiling fine. Let's run this, Control F5. All right, so now as you can see, we actually do test and we see the two smiling faces, then hello from C, C++. Okay, so that's how you basically rent out Unicode strings on the screen. Again, this character map utility is useful if you want to try the heart shape. It's 2665. You can add that here. Run again. Now we have the heart as well. All right, that's it for this video. Please leave me a comment if you think this is useful. And feel free to suggest any other ideas for me. And I'm happy to make a video on that. Thanks again for watching.